What's up guys, Andrew Baina, and today I'm going to be demoing my brand new custom guitar from Fast Guitars. This is a 7 string Orion, and it sounds something like this in a full band mix. that demo is pretty much mostly just a rhythm tone with a couple ambient overtones but don't worry I'll get into a lot more uh, different tones later on in this video but before I do that I want to talk a little bit about the specs of this instrument. So as you've probably noticed this is a Swamp Ash guitar which makes it extremely lightweight. All of my custom guitars from Fast like the two you see behind me all have a chambered Swamp Ash body and this is no different. This one also has a Swamp Ash top. Um, the fingerboard is ebony it has lumen leg glow in the dark side dots. It also has a really dark, subtle forest green uh, inlay material on the top, which you can kind of barely see, but I kind of like it that way. It, it makes it look very stealthy with just a little hint of green because if you know me at all, you know I am a sucker for green. It also has the Graftech Ratio Locking Tuners. I've never actually had these on a guitar before, but I really like them. So Graftech is another amazing Canadian company. Uh, their factory is actually just across the street from Fast Guitars. So their tuners are pretty awesome. Um, they would work like any other locking tuner as you'd expect, much like the hip shot locking tuners. Um, but I guess the selling point of these is that they are fine tuned to be a ratio, so if you know, you know, when you're tuning like a high E string, it feels like you have to tune the tuning peg a lot more than you do on the low B string. So with the ratio tuners, it kind of makes it feel like all the tuners travel the same distance to achieve the same results, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Um, it also has a roasted maple neck with ebony stripes. This time around I went with the same control scheme as my 9 string which is incredibly simple. It's just one volume knob and one three-way pickup selector. I don't really like to have a tone knob because I never use it and I don't really need all these fancy splitting pickups and having a five-way switch and all that. It's just not really personally for me most of the time. I'm sticking around the rhythm end anyway so really all I need is that and switching to that one for the occasional lead. So that works perfectly for me. Of course, this is a custom instrument and you can get whatever you want if you so choose. Um, it also has Fast Guitar's own uh, bridge design that he makes for his guitars. Um, I've had this on my past three guitars from them, as you can see over there and one over there. A very solid bridge. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, and then, of course, this also has the Seymour Duncan Alpha Omega pickup set, which is, of course, Mark Holcomb from Periphery's signature pickup set. So the kind folks over at Seymour Duncan sent these over to me. Very thankful to them for that. So that's pretty much all the specs for this instrument. Um, I, this is my fifth time getting a fast guitar, and I've worked with them for a very, very long time now. I think two or three years. It's been an amazing experience, and I'm so happy to be endorsed by them. So this guitar is no different. It's just as amazing as I was hoping it would be. And I'm just really happy to have another seven string from them. This time around, I chose to go for straight frets, or sorry, straight scale frets, uh, not fan frets this time around, just 26 and a half inch scale length. So still baritone, but I just wanted to have a guitar that was pretty much always in drop A. 
and 26 and a half inches is perfect for that in my opinion. All right, so with all the specs and that information out of the way, now we're gonna hear how it sounds. So first up, I'm gonna use the same rhythm tone you just heard in the full mix playthrough, but just the guitar by itself. This is a Kemper profile mimicking an EVH 5153 50 watt amp. It's my kind of go-to rhythm tone and it sounds something like this. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to a different rhythm tone. This time it is again a Kemper profile, which is mimicking a PV6505 amplifier, and it sounds something like this. Okay, now we're going to do a lead tone. I've switched it to the neck pickup for this demo and it sounds something like this. Okay, so the last thing on the menu for today is of course a clean tone. So first I'm gonna do it on the bridge and it sounds like this. Okay, and now a clean tone again, but this time using both pickups at the same time. Okay, and last but not least, this is the neck pickup only for a clean tone. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. If you want to learn more about fast guitars, definitely go check out the link in the description. If you like this video, also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more covers, original songs, gear demos, gear reviews, and all of that good stuff. Thank you guys so much once again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.